The Kabbalistic Tree by J. H. Hayes is a new book published through Penn State University Press. And I have to say it's been my biggest surprise of 2022. Um, uh, the author reached out to me on Facebook just a, a couple of weeks ago more than that. It was a couple of months ago, in fact, uh, asking me if I would like to receive a review copy. And I told him, I I'm afraid I, I don't really do reviews on demand, which is true. But uh, he gave me a few more details on what the contents would be. And I, I had to bite. I mean, it was very, very enticing. And I'm so glad I did. And I think that you're going to agree. I expect you're going to agree when I start going through the contents here, that this is something very special indeed. So The Kabbalistic Tree is a book on, <laughs> surprise, surprise, the tree of life and the history of the tree of life. And most specifically about Ilanot. So Ilanot is uh, the plural of Elan, I guess, uh, which is the Hebrew word for tree. But it's come to mean documents showing the tree of life. And we've got the first one here, um, uh, well, shown on the, on the cover. But the inside of the book, I'll show you the construction of the book soon. And that in itself is something very, very cool. But uh, let me just zoom out a little bit here and give you an idea of what the 440 pages of this, uh, this, this study of the many, many, many Eleanor that the author has had access to looks like. The, 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 the quality of the reproductions on every single page, well, not every single page, you know, as, as, as you can tell, but, but as close to every single page as is reasonable to expect. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. Just page after page after page of these beautiful reproductions, these beautiful facsimiles of Illinot, which the author is sharing with us and then also elucidating and going into detail uh, about. There are, um, I think that I, I, I counted five, but there may actually be more of these double page spreads also, all, all dotted all the way through the book, which, uh, you know, which are kind of jaw dropping in their own right. Absolutely gorgeous. So you can uh, possibly already see that uh, these trees of life are, you know, it, it's, it's not just one tree of life. There are lots and lots of different versions. And that's kind of what's interesting here, right, is to see the different versions, to see the history behind the different versions and to understand why they were influenced in that particular direction and, and um uh, uh, what 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 um, what group of people were interested in that particular tree of life and so on? Absolutely fa fascinating stuff. Uh, but it's not just ancient scrolls that we're looking at here. Um, the author goes into the modern um, uh, aspects of the tree of life, and in fact, all the way in the back here, we've got uh, we <laughs> we have uh, our foolish fish favorite David Heim Smith represented. Uh, let me see if I can find the page on which uh, his uh, his lightning flash of Aleph is is represented over here. Are we going to find it? Uh, I certainly hope so. Here it is. There we go. Uh, so yeah, really. Um, the, uh, as I say, you know the the breadth of the um, uh, the, the 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 survey is incredible. Absolutely amazing. But the depth is amazing as well. Um, obviously, the author goes into a lot more depth on the traditional, well, the traditional, on the uh, on the older scrolls, right? He, he really is about about the history uh, of uh, of the Illinot and about the, uh, the 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 tree of life. Look at this! Look how cool this is!
Uh, yeah, 450 pages of this, folks. <laughs> absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, it, it is mostly about about the history and about the uh, the, the explanation of what this all is, right? Um, uh, because it's not always um, uh, from the same perspective. Yeah, as you can see, it's quite a substantial volume, right? And... Uh, sorry about the frame rate drops here. I think my phone is, might be getting a little bit, a little bit hot. Uh, <laughs> might be quite uh, possibly as impressed as I am here, right? Um, but uh, yeah, let me just read you this little sex section here, uh, this little segment. Uh, a note to those looking for more or less than this book offers, which I really appreciated. Were this a book about Euclidean diagrams? Few readers without a background in geometry would expect to get much out of it. I nevertheless presume that many of my readers will hope or even expect this book to provide the background required to appreciate Illinot. Although I have written primarily for other scholars, I have not forgotten that many reading these lines are more interested in than educated in the subject. I have therefore made every effort to define terms where they first appear, to provide brief introductions to basic concepts and to highlight fascinating points here and there with special focus sections. Those seeking deep dives into the ill or not that I introduce and analyse in the present book are encouraged to explore the interactive critical editions that my Elenot Project Digital Humanities team, led by Dr. Eliezer, Eliza um, uh, Baumgarten, uh, is publishing online incrementally, etc., etc. I, I really, really appreciate this uh, this approach, right? He could absolutely have just made this uh, uh, an academic work for academics uh, 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 and only for academics. Uh, but 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 the work is is so much larger than that, so much bigger than that. Uh, it it really is accessible and it's enjoyable to read. You know his uh, his his style is easy to read it's approachable it's uh, uh, and and it's it's clear and it's concise and uh, uh, and as he pointed out at the beginning every time a new term appears it's explained in detail so that you can follow the whole the whole thing without any problem and uh, and yeah and i i do really appreciate the little uh, uh, the little bits of fun information that he leaves for us um uh, you know us, us us readers who are not scholars who are not reading this uh, as a uh, as a reference for academic work but rather for a, a deeper understanding and appreciation of the uh, kabbalistic tree of life so yeah absolutely wonderful um I wanted to talk a little bit about the construction of the book, and uh, that is something that uh, I, that really impressed me as well. You know, uh, here is the cover, and you'll be able to see that the cover has this um, very, very finely woven material, which makes it very soft. Uh, you know, I, if you've if you've felt the material of um, I don't know, like a like a, a very soft hoodie. <laughs> That's kind of what this feels like. It's very comfortable on the fingers, very nice on on the hands, um, uh, and, uh, and and yeah, and you'll probably want to remove the dust cover um, uh, when you're reading it, just because it's it it is quite a hefty tome. Uh, let me zoom zoom back out. Yeah, it's. It's heavy. It's really, really heavy. I, I'm not sure. Is it like three kilos? Um, uh, possibly a little under three kilos, but very, very heavy <laughs> book. And and for good reason, you know, every page is thick, thick stock, um, glossy paper, but not so glossy that it's a problem, uh, but just glossy enough to do to do uh, justice to the uh, to the the facsimiles of these of these illinot, right? so that you can get as much detail on them as possible. Let me just zoom back in one last time here. Um, you, you generally get the idea. 
Yeah, it's Smithsone. Um, and yeah, look at this. When I when you open the book, it lies flat, but it I, by flat I mean horizontal. You see, the 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 cover doesn't doesn't droop down to the bottom. It's supported by the the the. The spine, which is which is fantastic, and then as you as you open the book and and make your way through it, um, yeah, little by little, it it opens itself out. But there's you know the the pages just stay open exactly the way you put them. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> yet another one of these double page spreads, which are just so so cool. There we are, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, preview. I mean, there really is going to be nothing like um, uh, <laughs> experiencing this firsthand. It is, it is incredible. Um, I, 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 I do hope that many of you will, um, uh, will, will, will be interested in, enough um, to, to actually go ahead and, and purchase this. Links down in the description, as always, with my videos, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, folks, and uh, to uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And uh, yeah, I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves and see you very soon. Bye bye.